Frank Kelly. I like to talk about mathematics and try to make it not too boring. Uh, my title is Mathematics Made Almost Bearable, and we'll try to do that with a simple topic today. We're going to talk about uh, fractions and repeating decimals. You've probably heard their equivalent in some sense. Uh, I want to start with something that's sometimes said in math class that students really are perplexed by where the teacher will write 1 is the same as 0.9999 dot dot dot. They don't look the same to me. Well, let's see. How could we see this? One way to see it is, well, are you willing to believe this? A lot of students have been writing this since they were little, so they'll often believe that that's true. Well, if that's true, the one third is 0.333333, then why not just do this? Just write the 333 three times, add them up. They'll all agree a third plus a third plus a third is one. And you add all these guys, you keep getting nine, so that must be this. Does that convince you? Well, maybe it doesn't. Let's try another method. Let's suppose we say we don't really know what 0.99999 is. And I'll let you in on a secret. The most powerful technique in mathematics is giving things you don't know a boring name. And mathematicians all love the same boring name. Their favorite boring name is always X. So we're going to call this thing X. Well, why is this a powerful thing to do? It's a powerful thing to do because once you give things a name, you've got an equation to work with. When you've got an equation to work with, you've got the power of algebra. All right, so i got X equals 0.9999, and I'm saying, look, I don't know what 0.999 is, but at least it's something. Now, if I multiply both sides by 10, I'll get this. I'll get 10x is 9 point and a bunch of 9s, and x is just a bunch of 9s. And now when I subtract, I'll get 9x on the left, 10x minus x. And on the right, you notice all these 9s after the decimal point will cancel when you subtract, so all you get is 9. So I got 9x equals 9. So that means dividing both sides by 9, x is 1. See, I told you it was 1. Now, this kind of technique can be used to discuss all kinds of repeating decimals and convince yourself that they're the same as certain fractions. So, for instance, let's suppose we had this number, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, etc. Okay, we don't know what it is. So, let's call it x. Now, last time I multiplied both sides by 10. That isn't going to work this time. I want to multiply both sides by 100. And I'm going to get 23.232323, da, da, da. Now when I subtract, I'm going to get 99x equals 23. So x is going to be 23 over 99. Told you it was a fraction. Okay, now for homework, you do this one. What's 0 0.671, 671, 671, etc.? What's that? Multiply by a thousand. Okay, we'll do some more of this on another little video. Come back and visit Math Made Almost Bearable. Bye.